The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 30th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magical, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. Right now, we got most of the indices trading to the downside. The Russell 2000 being the exception out here. The Dow off 100 points, three tenths of a percent. No big deal. The S&P off 12, another three tenths of a percent. The Nasdaq 100 off about a half a percent or 45 points. The semis down 11 points. Um, spot volatility index is up a buck. It's up seven and a half percent. And it is trading. I believe it's still trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. We'll take a look at that. That's 1444. Gold is flat. Silver up four pennies. Lightsweet crude is flat out there. Natural gas back three cents, leading the charge dollar-wise. To the upside, it is Axum Therapeutics up four bucks or four percent. Five below up nearly four bucks, about three percent. Northrop Grumman three and a half percent. Burlington Stores. Uh, I'm sorry, three and a half bucks. Uh, for both Northrop and Burlington, that's one and one and a half percent, respectively. To the downside, dollar wise, it's Amazon, 17 bucks, no big deal there, just underneath one percent. The trade desk off 16 or six percent. Google's off 14, a little over one percent. Mercado Libre off 12 bucks or about two percent out there. So, where do we want to begin? Let's begin by what has transpired, what is transpiring in the uh, marketplace. Let's begin by taking a look at the uh, uh, 30 minute uh, ES mini chart. Now, at about 11 o'clock this morning, I I sent out an update to subscribers to let them know that uh, the uh, move to the downside was a buying opportunity, or at least the bottom had been put in. So let's go take a look at how is it that Stevie could figure that out out here. Well, first we can see the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top out here that formed on uh, Friday, and that led to a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern that was forming coming into Friday's close out there. Now, it wasn't the ES mini, so price was pushing lower, doing less relative energy. So on Saturday, when I I got my end of uh, day reports out to subscribers. I said, uh, you should anticipate that the uh, markets will trade higher when the futures open on Sunday. And that was sent out sometime on Saturday. Why? Because we had that nice little hammer candle that formed inside of the NQ on its 30-minute time frame, confirming that Rhodes momentum indicator signal. And then as price pulled back coming into the close of the contract, it was sitting right there at that red horizontal level of support. That's a TD9 breakout area. Now, what price did as uh, Sunday opened, uh, you saw a little bit of a uh, move to the upside that created another bullish reversal signal inside the NQ on the 30 minute basis. It's that same pattern that formed here in the ES mini to confirm its Rhodes momentum indicator topping pattern. OK, so so that being said out there, then we've seen prices move lower. What was really going on this morning? Well, what was taking place? Well, first, I want you to just uh, focus on this 30 minute time frame chart. We use a 30 minute time frame chart just simply because 
it gives us a understanding of what's going on intraday inside the markets and what to be looking for through the rest of the day out here, but also because these same tools and patterns that you and I trade, they work for all time frames. You just have to stay focused and stay within the time frame it is that you are trading. But I want you to notice that little piercing candle that formed right out here. Let's get the uh, time. That is a bullish reversal candle out here. That occurred at exactly 11 o'clock this morning. 11 o'clock was when I was preparing and sending out the update to subscribers so they could understand what was going on inside the marketplace out here. And what was really taking place inside the ES Mini, what did unfold, it was a Gartley buy pattern. Now let me show, I've just got a different chart here, so it's a little bit easier to show you that pattern. But this was the first A to B equals CD to the downside on a 30 minute time frame that we've seen since December the 13th out there. And that sets up a Gartley buy pattern. You've got the A to B equals CD, and you've got the bullish reversal candle to uh, tell you that that pattern has completed. Now every Gartley pattern has five different outcomes out here. So let's go take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart. Let me just kind of move through. Wow, oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that out there. All right. Find my, uh, uh, there we go. Perfect. So, um, you don't know what's going on in the background because you can't see. Hey, good thing. But let's go ahead and open up a 30-minute uh, time frame chart here. Well, I know where I can go grab one. We can go to our Perigee chart out here. So let's go grab uh, this Perigee Apogee chart. And what we're going to do is just take a look at, uh, with no profiles or anything like that, just simply retracements out here. So the five different outcomes from a Gartley pattern would be your, your Fibonacci retracement levels, 0.382, and this of the entire pattern, 0 0.618, 0 0.716. So what has transpired so far is in the elevator of schemes is that you can see I've taken the high, the swing point high and the swing point low and just simply applied our Fibonacci retracement tool. You've got 0 0.382, that's at 3231. We're trading at 3229. You've got 3239, 3246, and then you've got that 100% move of move, giving you your four of five outcomes out here. And what price has done, it made it to the 0 0.382 retracement level, slightly above it. That's at that 32.31 level. This is where people have gotten off of the elevator. Now, is everybody getting off the elevator, elevator or baiter, depending on how you want to uh, term it, and just simply going to start selling from here? Well, that I don't know. I don't think so. And we'll go take a look at those reasons why. But all we're seeing right now, and I want you to make sure that you see this out here, is prices just simply got to that first level. I want you to picture yourself getting on a elevator. And when you get up to the first floor, or that next floor, okay, in our case here, that to be the 0.382 retracement level, some folks get off board. That doesn't mean the elevator is going back down. Not that it can't, but the next level of where price is likely headed to is that 0.618 retracement area. Now, maybe it's going to set up a Gartley uh, sell pattern to the upside. That I don't know. The retracement we've seen so far doesn't set up a B point of an A to B equals CD to the upside out here. But 3239 uh, is where the ES Mini should be able to get to. Now, what else is it that we can take a look? What else was it that Steve-O was taking a look at in order to have the confidence to send out a, an update at 11 o'clock as uh, futures were down 200 points or more than that to say, hey, look, Looks like we've got a nice little bottom in here. It could be a bottom, quite frankly. It takes us into, you know, the first week, second week, third week of January out here. Well, what we have and how will we know that to be the case? Well, we get back from this break. I don't know if Jay is in the audience today, but if he is, we know that he likes to take a look at those new profiles. And at the same time, the Gartley buy pattern formed. On the 30-minute chart, the ES Mini was hitting a new profile. This is using Stevie's super Doppler method out here, but almost right to the tick. That's a beautiful thing. She wrote to TFN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look right now at the four equity futures contracts. You've got the ES Mini on the left. You've got the NASDAQ next to it, the NQ. Then you've got the Dow, and then you have the Russell 2000. So they each show brand-new profiles that are attempting to form. Now, I will not know until tonight or early in the morning whether or not these things have uh, uh, are taken hold, because I'm using my advanced tool. But it appears that they uh, – they, uh, based on other things that I've looked at, it looks like there's a high likelihood that these profiles are going to take hold and they're intact out here. But look, this is information that you and I are able to use to trade right now. We had this profile information this morning when the newsletter was being prepared. Now, and, and I had done a, a fairly, um, I would say, a fairly thorough uh, review for subscribers this morning about, oh, we really did it over the weekend, about what to understand for the bigger picture and what we're looking at out here. Um, and in uh, one of those elements of it, uh, of what we look, took a look at was certainly these market profiles. And so for those people that are short and have maybe been able to take advantage of that move lower uh, earlier this morning around 11 o'clock, and you take a look at these profiles and you see that all of the bottoms of these boxes have held, make sure you have have stops in place for those trades so that you at least exit at break even. Uh, hint, hint, uh, not a bad time to take some profits out here. You've got no levels of support that have failed, at least as of 119. Now, I don't know. I can't tell the future. I can't see the future. I do not know what's going to occur in the next moment. But we do know what has occurred in the prior moment. And we do know that all that has transpired so far today has been nothing more than price pulling back to a level of support. That's what it's supposed to do in a bull market out there and hold. 
That's the information that you have to go with. Look, there are some additional information out here. What additional information? Well, we could take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, and we could take a bit and take a look at its advanced decline oscillator reading. Now, even at 11 o'clock, when I mean, at 10:45, whenever when futures were really pushing lower out here, the advanced decline oscillator was still above zero. Still above zero, spot volatility, which is the bottom panel. Yes, it's above its 50-day exponential moving average, which is 1367. But the two, in order for there to be any traction to the downside, you need both. What do I mean by both? You need to see the advanced decline oscillator below the zero threshold level. That is where sellers have control. No, it's not going to call the top tick, but it, it, we don't have that. As we speak right now, 121 in the afternoon. And so all that was transpiring this morning was just a, a head fake, a knee-jerk reaction. Um, those folks that uh, had gotten long on the 26th or the uh, 27th of last year, and they wanted to protect those profits and take some long-term gains, well, you know, Friday, today, tomorrow are the days to do that out here. Price just simply ran back to support. And until that advanced decline oscillator gets below that zero threshold level with the spot volatility being above its 50 day, you've kind of got one side is bullish, the other side is bearish out there. And there you've got your little tug of war, so to speak, and a reason for me to throw out the caution signal out here for those that are short. Support has held, support has held, support has held. Granted, I don't know what's going to transpire next out here. What else is it that we could look at that I could share with you? I don't think that there is really anything else here from an equity market standpoint um, for you to for you to really consider. Now, what we didn't talk about is how will you know if the market's going to continue its rally? Well, the beauty of these new profiles is that in the, the ES Mini, it's pretty much equally distributed. The center is pretty much in the center between the top and the bottom out there. The NQ is a bullish structured profile. So as price was pushing lower, um, found support where it should have. And if you see a close above 87.69 inside the NQ, it doesn't have to be by the end of the day. But if you do see a close above that and you're on the short side of the market, uh, chances are you're really on the wrong side of the market, even though I have stated and was probably the earliest to state here uh, and before people even, but it doesn't really matter what, but you know, I had stated weeks ago that uh, we're looking for a um, for fairly significant top uh, in 2020 out there, but uh, we're in 2019 folks. And no, I don't think that it has started today. We start to see close below these boxes, a different scenario. But right now, I'm just suggesting that you consider the current scenario. Nothing has been broken inside this trend that we've got. And, and you would not be surprised to see these markets continue to trade higher out there. So let's go to our first question out here. Our first question coming in from uh, Tom. I haven't heard from Tom for a while. Tom G. And uh, Tom wants to say, uh, uh, wants to take a look at his... He's, he's considering scaling into dust, which would be short the uh, mining equities out there. And so want some thoughts on that. So let's take a look at what's going on. In order to, to do that, Tom, of course, you know, we must first take a look at the gold marketplace and try to figure out what gold is trying to do. So there's a couple of different things. First, with regard to trading that's going on today, there's not going to be much upside action inside of gold. Now, how can Steve-O say that? Well, the reason I say that, in the left-hand side, left-hand panel, Tom, and everybody else out there watching, you've got gold priced in U.S. dollars, trading just slightly higher. But when we take a look at gold expressed in euros, expressed in yen, expressed in pounds, it's trading lower. So on one hand, which is the U.S. hand, maybe you've got buyers. On the other hand, what you've got, traders and other currencies, you've got sellers today. So that's why you're not seeing any kind of real traction to the upside or the downside. But remember, understanding how an instrument is trading in multiple currencies is is mandatory If you because otherwise you're you're playing a game that others have more information than you, and I want you to have the same information that they have, or really stated another way, because most people don't look at markets or don't look at instruments like this. I want you to have the competitive advantage, because as far as I know, a competitive advantage is a good thing to have. 
and I want you to have it out there. Now, coming back to gold, so we can see this out here. So this is okay, not much in the way of traction out here. So what is it that we want to take a look at? Well, the first thing that I would look at here, Tom, I'm going to take a look at the day, another daily chart here for gold, which had formed a TD9 count. And it uh, completed that pattern a couple of days ago. The high of that count is 15.17.40. Price is trading at 15.18.50. If you see a close above 15.17.40, two days in a row, today would be, it looks like, that second day out here. Then this is suggesting that price actually wants to move higher. Now, the danger there is that even during that time frame, between, let's say, now and then, when price would actually make a higher move out here, we can see that Stevie's red line turned green a handful of trading sessions ago. And so there is, Tom, there is going to be a catch-up of price and that line, Stevie's oscillator and change line, which is at 1495. I don't know when. If I could forecast the day, uh, I would, and I would give that to you, but I can't. But I know there's a phenomenon that takes place when that occurs. And uh, so there, there is that possibility of lower before higher. But here's the deal. If you do see a close about 15, 17, 40, I can't suggest that now is the time to build that short position in the mining equities out here. That being said, if that's the case, then Tom should ask the next question, or somebody else should ask that next question. Well, then, Steve-O, where is it that gold would likely head to? My response there, with a close today above 15, 17, 40, would be 15, 43, 50, or 15, 61. So I would hold off, Tom, because the signals, it's just not ready, just not ready to short. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, Tom, we were taking a look just before we go into that breakout there. We said, hey, look, if gold closed about 15, 17, 40, what the signal is, is that price wants to make a run to the 1543, 1561 level. What were those levels? Those are our horizontal trading range boundary lines. The blue ones are daily, and that's your 1543 area. The green ones are the weekly, that's 1561. We can see price has made its way up to that level um, several weeks ago, um, well, quite a few weeks ago, several months ago out there and that was a resistance area the weekly profiles um, really work well this is a weekly chart by the way that we're looking at out here but the, actually all the profiles monthly daily and weekly they're all important to uh, now I say profiles horizontal trading ranges my apology out there um, and then secondarily from a weekly perspective a weekly chart so here's the weekly time frame chart that did form a TD setup nine count bottom that's low in this pattern out here that was week of November 15th price right now is dealing with Steve green line on the weekly time frame so that's right around this 1517 area as well and if we were to see a close above this a second week then where price is likely to run to here on this chart on this weekly chart says resistance is 1543.30 and that is where price broke down that TD set up a nine count more likely than not um, I believe price will make its way up to that area and then that should be the end of the uh, run should be good enough to trap most of the uh, bulls out there and they will not like the uh, outcome once they are trapped out there now john i know that you do and i'm referring now to john inside the tiger's den i know you do some work with the um uh with the uh, commercial the cot data out there i just took a look at it this week a little scan of it and you probably saw what i saw which is that commercial traders are have joined the stevie camp out here and they're anticipating not today but they're anticipating in the near future a kibosh to the downside inside of goldilocks and the commercial traders are uh, rarely wrong and that's the big money so if you want to understand what the big money is saying uh, Tom I believe you're on the right track I just don't think that right this second is the time to begin that position so I hope that helps you out uh, no other questions so please if you're in the den uh, just throw anything in there that you want me to uh, go ahead and take a look at and you can send me an email Steve at tfnn.com just put uh, radio show question to subject heading that would be great and of course you can always give us a call at 877-927-6648 so what else can we go take a look why don't we until I get some other request out there uh, why don't we just take a look at uh, some of these instruments and uh, see how they're trading let's take a look at Amazon uh, there we go we've got one from tarpon too thank you so here's a, a signal to you and I'd rather do this today I'd rather and every day is spend time taking a look at something that you want to take a look at maybe it's in your portfolio you're trying to get it in there or anything along those lines I would rather spend our time doing that so the ticker symbol here is C RSP. Let's go see what that is. That is CRISPR Therapeutics. CRISPR Therapeutics today, that uh, really was Friday. Really, it's been for the last several, uh, on and off for the past couple of weeks. Uh, but price is now trading below its uh, daily uh, profile out there. Support that was at 6665. Um, we can say that this is taken out a B point with volume. The B point or swing point would be the trading day of December 19th. That had 883,000 shares. You're already at 1.1 million shares. So, uh, Tarpon 2, the A to B equals CD pattern to the downside on this. This is coming from our A point out here. That's on the, the trading high of December 4th. Then you've got as your B point, the low of December 19th, a retracement right into the uh, point of control, the center of its bullish structured box. So closing below a bullish structured box, nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. Your one to one price projection would take you down into the 59.49 level. 1 to 1.272, and 52.99 for 1 to 1.618. I don't know which of those levels 
if any of those, it could go to the two, uh, the one to two A to B equals CD at forty eight ninety seven. We won't know if you're looking to buy this tarpon, then um, you got to wait for some type of bullish reversal candle to then go ahead and uh, confirm the Gartley buy because this could be forming a Gartley buy pattern. Now the first area to really be watching is that fifty nine sixty four fifty nine forty nine range. 59.64 is the bottom of a weekly profile. 59.49 was your one to one A to B equals CD. It could be that uh, this is an area that, that that could be the extent of the move. You could get a that would be a Gartley buy pattern. Looks like probably like a 0.382. So it'd be very strong out there. So CRISPR looks uh, like it's just uh, forming a Gartley uh, buy pattern. It just is not complete. I don't know when it will be complete. You tarp and you want to watch for some type of bullish reversal. Can let's see if there's anything else that's going on. Wow. How did that just disappear? There we go. Well, at least we've got it back now. We found it. And uh, was there anything else out here? Well, it did form a TD setup, a night count pattern. That was the high out here. That was back on November 20th. Price here would suggest that uh, the breakout level is 48.39 on a daily basis. So that's another area to be watching for the uh, pattern to uh, complete. That would still be a Gartley buy if uh, price got down to that level. On a weekly time frame out here, the weekly time frame is showing us what? Uh, not much. Let's do the uh, a wave count to the upside, see what we've got inside of this. Well, it forms a, uh, a wave number seven, letter G. I'm always amazed and surprised, but I don't know why I'm still surprised when we see this get to wave number seven or letter G. So you've got a topping pattern on the daily, a topping on the weekly. We sort of already knew that. Price on the weekly is testing Stevie's green line. So it closed below this level here, say 62 and a quarter, which suggests lower price net daily, Gartley buy pattern. And the monthly, boy, CRISPR. CRISPR looks a lot like the, uh, was it really CRISPR out there? I think so. Let me just put the actual charts up back up on the screen. Yeah, CRISP, yeah CRISPR Therapeutics. The monthly chart <laughs> shows prices moving higher, doing less relative energy, a TD setup nine count pattern that looks like it's going to uh, complete this month. Um, all right, Tarpon. So now we know we've got the daily, the weekly, and monthly topping patterns inside of CRISPR. Um, boy, let's just make sure that this forms a real solid Gartley buy if it does. Uh, and it's looking more and more like price wants to move to even lower ground. But 5964 is going to be your next battle. Now is not the time. And now is not the time to go along. I hope, Tarpon, that that helps you out. That little review there, take a look at the uh, the TAS market profiles, the TD setup uh, patterns, the, um, you know, anything else that we, the Roads Momentum Indicator out there to help assist us on interpreting what this instrument is uh, doing. Okay, great. Uh, keep those cards and letters coming. So I mentioned, let's go take a look at Amazon. Let's throw Amazon up on the chart here. See what kind of damage, if anything, uh, was done, is being done. Nothing that we can see that's uh, being done. The daily time frame, we'll go check out the other charts out here. But right now, price is above its daily profile out there. That was a bearish structured daily profile. So that is uh, bullish. The weekly profile price is testing or slightly below the bottom of that profile level. That's at the 1853 uh, level. And price did find resistance at the top of its monthly profile. That was 1898. On the daily time frame here for Amazon, do we have any other signals? Well, we can see the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom that formed out here. A nice little hammer candle that formed back on October the uh, 3rd. Wave number five to the upside. Likely what Amazon does is find support at 1832.57. 1832.57. I don't see anything terribly wrong with Amazon. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Great. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got a request to take a look at Guardians Health, Inc. The uh, ticker symbol there is uh, GH. And uh, we can only really use the daily and the weekly time frame data um, uh, because the monthly doesn't have enough uh, information. This is an IPO going back to the early part of 2018. Looks like uh, October late part of 2018. Uh, so there's just not enough monthly data. Now, uh, Sat is asking the question... Uh, how has this, you know, changed since the last time we looked at it, which maybe was about a couple weeks ago? I'm not sure here in your email when that was. But what we do know is that on Thursday, I know we haven't spoken since Thursday, there is a new profile that formed on a daily basis out here. And that is a bear structured profile. The top of the box was 83.93. That's the left-hand panel. Center 81.74. See how that center line is so much closer to the top than the bottom. That tells you this is a bearish structured profile. That does not mean the instrument is bearish. It means with inside this trading range is that sellers have the upper hand between the 81.74 and 83.93 area. Once price closes below 81.74, not by like a penny or two, but you know sizable enough, and certainly Friday was that, uh, that tells you that sellers then should be able to push price down to support. So support here is 75.19. There's nothing wrong with uh, Guardian Telth unless price breaks through that support level of 75.19. If you do see it close below that, that suggests that it wants to move lower. Lower to where? Well, we'll take a look at the other daily time frame chart. I'll give you a price point there. But just in looking at the weekly time frame where price is above the weekly profile, 7166 would be a number you would be looking for. That happens to be the top of that weekly profile. Okay, so now let's look at Stevie's other charts, see what we uh, see and what we might have said um, you know, when we last spoke about it. I would have to say, if we were to go to a replay, I would have suggested to you, when whenever we spoke about it, that um, price was likely on its way to 8418. That's if price had already cleared 7543. Why 8418? Because that was, that was its next 
TD setup nine count breakdown. So as price was making that run to its highs last week on uh, Tuesday, then Thursday and Friday, and it was forming that new uh, profile out there. Well, what we can see is price was also running right into that resistance level at that 84.18. Another level of support in this instrument would be 7301. That's where it most recently broke out using that TD setup nine count pattern. So a close below 7301 would suggest a move back to 6603. Those are the numbers. They're going to be different. You know, you're going to have profile levels. You're going to have breakout and breakdown areas. But now what you've got is basically your range because rarely does something go right to the tick, although it does happen. It, uh, you know, that's really not how you trade or put that in place. Now, you were asking about stops. Um, here's the deal with regard to stops. Well, first, you want to understand where support is. So you know you've got 75.19. Another thing you can always do is take a look at this average true range. That's $3.11 over the last 10 days. Multiply that time a Fibonacci expansion num uh, level, um, a Fibonacci expansion series number, which would either be 1.272 or 1.618, and that should be your stop below you know some closing price maybe today's close or something like that but use these support levels as well see where your stop falls with inside those support levels and be willing to give it just a bit of room now we do not like you do not like the weekly time frame chart for this it forms a nice roads momentum indicator top it completes that pattern it confirms that pattern i should say on august 23rd when it forms that bearish engulfing candle plus price was closing below stevie's green line out there now what we've seen is price is trading below Stevie's green line 79.55. That's really a number set that you want to see price be trading above. Now that number is going to change. It just changes 79.56. So you have to give it a little bit of a range out there. But that's not what you're really contending with today. This is actually just suggesting that price should continue to move a tad lower too. And that is uh, what I see when I take a look at Guardian Health for the daily and the weekly time frame. So I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Of course, Happy New Year to you, to uh, Tom, who had written in earlier, to uh, Tarpon, to, to Z and the Dent, to everybody that is out there. We've got two more questions. Thanks, folks, for, uh, for listening and sending in these uh, requests out here. Craig wants to take a look at. So uh, Happy New Year, Steve. Happy New Year, Craig. Is there anything in the currency markets offering clues to any of the commodity markets? Um, let's see here. How am I going to? How am I going to? Let's let's see. I think I have a set of charts out here, Craig, that we can look to for just simply commodities, just to try to get a understanding of um, the flow of capital out here. Uh, see if I've got that chart or set of charts somewhere. I think I do. I think I do. I think we're close. I think we're there. There we go. So here, here's here's a pretty good gauge of commodities. Uh, these are weekly time frame charts. Uh, these charts show you the 2018 high. They show you many instances the 2018 lows. Uh, gives you a feel for just how commodities are trading. For example, gold is above the 2018 high. That's good. That's bullish out there. Uh, wheat, it's not. Wheat has just been consolidating all year between the 2018 low. And the 2018 high, although price hasn't made it up to the high, this is just priced in U.S. dollars out here. Corn uh, had a false breakout to the upside uh, when price got above its 2018 high, pulled back uh, lower inside that. So that's really just a con in a consolidation. Silver right now is uh, trying to break out above its uh, 2018 high. That's at 1770 or at 1805. Uh, rice has been consolidating in between the low. So no breakout here. No bre breakdown, if anything, in natural gas. Trading below the 2018 low. Look, that's bearish. Just simply all out, flat out, simply bearish. And as of all the commodities, the worst looking commodity at this stage of the game. And and I do know that natural gas is trying to form a bottom, just hasn't been able to do so just yet. Uh, light sweet crude consolidation, soybean futures a consolidation, live cattle trading up at the uh, 2018 highs out there. Um, so, Craig, that wasn't your total question, though. Is there anything in the currency markets? And the answer is there's nothing that I have seen just yet. And, and this was just an easy way for me to go answer your question about the currency markets or commodities in general, which was just kind of get a gauge as to how. So what, what will Stevie do with these charts on uh, Wednesday or Thursday of this week as we go out of 2018 and move into 2019?
well, 2020, I should say. You, you know what I'm really thinking. What I'm looking at one thing, saying something else. It's really clear. I will go at, at these charts, and I will identify the 2019 high and the 2019 low. And if something is trading just simply above the 2019 high out there, that's going to tell you that it is in breakout mode, at least in terms of U.S. dollars. And you can start to investigate that instrument in terms of the other currencies out there. I guess the, the other question might be, you know, just trying to understand what's going on in the currency marketplace, right? And maybe we, we, we could do that and maybe we can do that tomorrow because we're going to be going to a break here momentarily and uh, we're not going to in that two minute uh, session, uh, the two minute close, we're not going to have the time to take a look at each of the currencies. So why don't we leave that for like a New Year's Eve deal? part of tomorrow's. Now, I'll take a look at the euro right now, or I'll do that uh, during the break. I'll throw that up on my uh, screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the euro, how it's trading, uh, the euro U.S. dollar, and take a look at its uh, four large, larger time frames for where price is trading as it relates to its TAS market profiles, daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. See what kind of clues the euro is giving to us. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at right now, you got the four quadrants up here. You've got the Euro US dollar currency pair. I've got a 10 minute or 15 minute delay on this. So it's not ex gonna be trading at exactly the price point that we're taking a look at. But here's what we do know. Price is trading above the top of its daily profile. So it's above resistance. Should be able to continue moving higher. This week is gonna be important. Where does price close this week? Not tomorrow, the end of the year. Where does price close on Friday? Because the euro is sitting right at resistance. And so, Craig, uh, one the number is 1.1183. If the euro trades back below that area, on a daily that says that it can move higher, the weekly says, nah, it's not so fast. It's just simply consolidating sideways out there. So that's what I've got for you. Tomorrow we'll spend some more time on the currency pairs. We'll go back and take a look at what does all that mean for the U.S. dollar index out there. So the last request that we have coming in here from Hector and the fuel injectors who wants to take a look at Michael Kors. Michael Kors had one heck of a day, 39 million shares on a Friday out there, uh, but ran right into the top of its uh, bear structured daily profile. Hector, it was at 789, you're back below it. Price may have found support at 734. That would have been a potential buy point. Now you would also need to see price close above 789, the top of that bear structured daily profile for two sessions in a row. Price is trading below the weekly profile, 814, that says caution. Price found support at the bottom of the monthly profile, which was 591. The actual low was 585 this month. So, and that's a bullish structured profile. So this is suggesting the possibility of being long. The confirmation of this, and I would just simply stay tight, Hector, but keep following Michael Kors. And if you see it close above Stevie's red line on a monthly time frame, right now that's 837, then you've got a change in trend that is in place for ticker symbol MIK, Michael Kors. Folks, thanks so much for being here. If we don't uh, see you tomorrow and I'll do the show at the normal time tomorrow, then I want you to have a, a happy New Year's celebration and I'll see you the day after on January 2nd. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, three to four. Have a uh, magical month. Take care.